Yeah. Toby! YouTube, it's your boy Trey Fades. I'm coming at y'all with my first ever actual barber tutorial. This is going to be on 360 waves, nice blowout, and a crisp lineup. We are in the game with this one, and we coming hard for 2020. So right now, I'm going to introduce everything. This is my man Dave right now. When he first came to me, first got a cut, he had an afro. He left. He told me that he was going to change and get waves. Within a month or two, my man came with waves. He was not playing, and we are in the game. So right now, I'm going into it. What I'm doing is I'm combing his hair out, checking for any cowlicks, seeing that way that the hair grows. That way, we're going to be able to hit it with the one and a half guard. Make sure on a waiver that you comb out the hair before you cut it so you can see the pattern of growth. Right now, you can see that my angles are messed up. I cannot get my angles right, but this is my first YouTube video. Trey Fades, we in the building, we building. Let's go. So I'm still combing his hair out. I got my man Kenny in the background, KB. And as you can see, I don't know what the hell I'm doing because my arm is in the way. Okay, so I'm still combing his hair out. This is not a process that you want to rush. You want to comb, check for cowlicks, check for scars or anything. My man Kenny's in the background asking me a question. Boy, your ass ugly, boy. I'll flame you up right now. Fire your ass up. Let's go. Look at him. Look at him. So I'm spinning my man around. You can see the back. My man works his ass off. Excuse me. I'm not. I don't know if I'm able to cuss, but he works. Got has a do rag. So the back of that area where that do rag sits on gets messed up. So here we go. We going one and a half with the grain. I am doing it slowly. I'm making sure that I get every hair and I comb and I cut. I comb and I cut. And I make sure that we get the desired length that we want it to be. With waivers, you really want to make sure that you get the desired length and that you do not gap them. So I'm going to let y'all continue watching. And I'm going to let y'all listen to my boy Ra Ra with his new single, Wouldn't Know. Let's go! I'm still the same as shit that everybody knew Hey homie, tame that shit before I lose a screw Don't get confused from all the love that I've been showing you I'm so in tune with this beat cause what I'm going through Fighting life, trying to get it right, it ain't no living twice Panoramic, I done seen it all, everything in sight Making music, help me numb it all, make me fly Smoking it right to my songs all through the night Fuck it if nobody is gon' fuck with me Don't need to be a hundred if you can't keep it a buck fifth My landlord getting fed from all the rent with all them late fees Hard to keep a smile on my face if they gon' take me Risking my little freedom, doing shit to feed my family Risking is a bitch cause I didn't can really vary Fuck the lifestyle, help me to see shit clearly Lord, if I don't need them, can you take it off from there? You wouldn't know the stuff I had to get my mental through You wouldn't know all I did to even make it through You wouldn't know if it was me, you never made it through You wouldn't know I'm going crazy if it's in front of you You wouldn't know the stuff I had to get my mental through Emotional 
against the front of sound. I had dreams from the time when I was young to make it out. So sweet, oh, just to think of what could turn around. No sleep, oh, I'ma keep on working through the clan, With oh. my head right, fix the cash flow, kinda drill right. Never had a back door, fill it in. Okay, I'm back. Just relax, right here. You have the back of his head. What I was talking about in the beginning was you with the new rag sitting on it, and he the moisture. You wouldn't know. Make sure that when you bald him out, you get all the hairs. So you have a nice gradient fade. You want to clean that bottom half. Make sure it's completely bald so we're ready to have a great canvas and ready to have a great masterpiece. So now I go in with my wall cord, the seniors, with the no guard all the way open. And as you can see, I'm going a different way that the hair grows so that we can get a consistent, consistent guideline. Because a consistent guideline will equal a consistent fade. Now I have closed my clipper and I'm slowly opening it and I'm not going past that guideline. So I close my clipper and I slowly open my clipper to that guideline. Now I have my wall corded senior. And the reason I do this is because I hear the hair. When I hear the hair cutting, I tend to do a little better. So I'm just consistent, close, slowly open, all the way to that first guideline that we made with no guard. So here we go. We got the number one guard all the way open and we're going up about a half an inch. Remember that you want to go against the grain when you're creating this fade. So if the hair is growing to the side like how it is on the left side of his head, you want to go against that. Okay? That way we have a consistent guideline which will equal a consistent fade. Let's go, baby. We in the game. We not playing around. Let's go. It's your boy. It's your boy. All right. So I'm holding his hair back with my thumb. That way you get a better canvas outlook. And what I'm doing is I'm opening and I'm slowly closing that blade. I'm slowly closing that lever. And I'm working the lever play and I'm listening for the hair to cut. If it's not cutting, then I need to go down a little bit to hit that guideline. Do not go above that guideline. If you do, you're going to mess it up. Now I'm going with my one and a half with the grain. I'm knocking off a little bit of that bulk. And then I'm going to come back with my one. And I'm going to go with the grain to knock off that bulk to give a nice, clean, solid fade. So with coarse hair, you want to go with the grain and against the grain when doing a fade. Now here I am, half guard, lever open, slowly closing it. Lever open, and I'm slowly closing it. It's about four notches before I'm completely closed. So I open it, close it a little bit, close it a little bit, and then I'm fully closed, and I'm hitting that guideline. I'm pulling the skin back to get a clean canvas to get a clean fade. Okay, so when I turn him, I'm going to do the same method, which is I'm going to bald him out. I'm going to create a guideline. I'm going to bald him out. I'm going to clean up all of that hair and make sure that it is fully bald. Then I'm going to open the lever on a clipper with no guard. After I do that, I'm going to knock that out by closing it and slowly opening that blade to create that blend. I have a one and a half guard right now just knocking the bulk down. Cleaning the bulk is going to also equal a consistent fade. So I'm going to get back with y'all. It's the same process that I did on the back on the side, just not as wide. So I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. Y'all listen to my boy Tony Boy single Thug Holiday featuring Frank Lennon. Let's go. Up with me, 
I'm prone to bug fucking G. They baby mama fucking me. Mad cause I'm up. And they mad cause they supposed to be. Nigga, you ain't close to me. Nigga, you a hold to me. You can't even hit the guard. You can't even smoke with me. Nigga, you a joke to me. No nigga, you with they broke to me. Nigga, I'm in your chest. So I'ma make it hard to cope with me. All right, guys, we are in the game. I am adjusting my camera to where we are going to be in the game. Now, this part right here, this is the part that I live for, the part that I love. This is the artist in me, the drawer in me, the creative person in me. Now, what I got is my gold FX Babyliss trimmers that I love so much, the cordless ones, and I am creating that I know that edge up this is what I live for and as you can see it is coming out wonderful we are in the game with this one all 2020 we are in the game so the edge of that clipper is gonna create the outlining of that ear and we are in the game boy it's amazing what an edge up can do so now I'm using the corner of the blade to create that Chicago C cup and I love this. Everybody in the shop knows that this is what I love. This is what I, this is it for me. And I have that ash line. My ash line game is on point. There's no pencil, no powder, just clipper and wrist work with clean skin and clean hair. Come on guys. Consistent guidelines equal consistent fades and clean hair equals clean results. And we are in the game and I apologize about my arm being in the way. But we, 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 we in the game. I'm not pushing him back. I understand it's a little thin on those areas, but I'm not pushing him back. If you push your, your clients back, Jeez, Lord be with you. So now I've moved his head so I can see a full clear canvas, a full clear vision to create that symmetrical lineup. And look guys, we in the game. No barber magic pencil, no enhancements yet. And we in there. We in there. What I did ask Dave is if he wanted a semi-permanent enhancement on his beard, but he denied so I guess we're going to rock out with what he got. It's not that bad of a beard, but man, that beard enhancement would just bring it to a whole new level. But he didn't want it. I guess my man wanted to keep the Benny Siegel slash Anthony Hamilton type look. But we in the game. We here. We're not going nowhere. It's your boy Trey Fade. 239. Fort Myers stand up. Kenny, why are you talking to me? Kenny. Kenny. And look at me, I'm all extra friendly at. Man, follow my boy Kenny, man. KB Barber, man. Let's go. And here we go. I'm spinning my man around. We in there. Can't no realize I ain't no 
little kid and I'm a dog Let me feel like looking at my son and I'm a father And I don't feel like I'm doing the best that I can offer Eat some pills right, I might take them all right. and tumble so over So here we go for the enhancement Right, right, right now I have a mini airbrush compressor I'm applying a little Kiss Express One thing that I need to adjust to is uh, probably get a new compressor I don't like the way it sprays, it splats out Right now I'm looking for something that I'm for. Okay. A little bit of kiss expression that I'm applying maybe. I do this because it lasts longer than the compressor. As soon as you go home, that compressor is going to fall off. You can use a shower. So just a little bit of manual, semi-permanent. I'm spraying in the kiss express with the compressor to give it an enhanced look. This is not to cover up mistakes. This is simply to enhance it. You saw the lineup beforehand, and now you about to see the lineup afterwards. So now I'm putting a little bit of topic hair fibers to give it a little bit of a natural look. And as you can see, we in the game. We are in the game. I just wish my dog would let me put some beard enhancement on that beard and have that thing popping. Instead, we got the Charlene Anthony home. Hamilton, I'm coming home type look, but we here, we in the game, now we got the Barber Magic Pencil, and the reason that I do the Barber Magic Pencil is because it gives a contrast to the edge up, and it makes it pop, as you can see, Applying the razor now to give that finished look, but we in the game, man. This is my first ever barber tutorial, and I'm proud of myself, man. I'm proud of myself. I'm learning. I'm growing. We building. Trey Faze is in the building. Let's go. That motherfucking bullshit.